Hey guys, in this Spark AR Studio tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a quiz filter like this for your Instagram. So yeah, there is a question and then there are two answers and there is also a validation of the answers you give. So there is a green, green check mark if it is a right answer and there is a um, red cross when it is a, yeah, wrong answer but of course you can customize all those assets so you can create the filter you have in mind and at the end there is also a scoreboard so you know how good you were at this quiz i have created an ar block for you which makes it very simple to create this filter so there is not that much programming involved and of course you can download this ar block and all the graphics for free so let's start hey again so let's create this quiz filter here in the spark ar studio before we start creating the filter here please make sure you have downloaded all the assets we need to create this filter because i have created an ar block to make it as easy as possible to create a quiz filter like this so yeah just go to the description and click on the download link then you will end up here on this side and here you can download the assets this is the important quizfilter.ar block and these are the assets but yeah you can create your own assets and i will show you how so yeah just download this package so then you need of course all the graphics you want to use in this um, yeah, filter when you just want to follow along the tutorial you are good with the assets you have just downloaded but when you want to customize your filter i have created a figma file for you you can also access with a link in the description and you can just customize this figma file and yeah export your own yeah, um, questions and also answers and you can also customize all um, yeah, those things as for example here you can adjust the background of the cards and I have worked with components here so you just have to change here for example the question um, yeah artboard and every other artboards are yeah, changing too and um, you can also of course create those assets in Photoshop, Sketch, Canva or any other program you feel comfortable with. So yeah, just make sure you have named them right. For example, here Q01, Q02 and also then you need um, some naming for the answers. For example, here the LA01 and for the right answer the R. A01. So yeah, we need uh, the so Spark AR knows which question belongs to which answer. But yeah, just take a look at the assets you have just downloaded and then you can follow along this tutorial. So let's start. The first thing we will do is to import all the assets we have just downloaded so we can work with them here in the AR Studios. So yeah, just go to your assets panel and click here on the little plus. Then go to import and from computer. The first thing I will import is the quizfilter.ar block. So just click on it and hit open. So now we have the quiz filter here. So yeah, we can already drag and drop it into our scene. And when we do this, we see a white square above our head. And um, yeah, this square is right because we haven't um, yeah, imported any textures yet. So let's do this. So we go back to assets and click on the little plus. So now we will yeah, import our questions and answers as animation sequence. So not as a single texture, but as an animation sequence. So just hit animation sequence. Then click on the animation sequence and I will rename this animation sequence to questions. Then I go to the right hand side and here I click on choose file at texture. So now I go to my assets folder and here you can see all the exported assets from the Figma file. So the first thing we will import are our questions. So I will just import the questions from Q01 to Q10. 
I have created 10 questions, but of course you can do less or also more questions in your filter. So the next step is really important and I show it to you yeah, at every tutorial. When you imported a texture, click on it, go to the right hand side and here set the compression to none. So yeah, you have the best quality possible. So then again, <clears throat> we will import our answers um, for the left side and also here for the right side. So yeah, click again on the plus, go to animation sequence, um, rename this to our answers. So this will, will be the um, right answers. So go to textures, choose files and here make sure you select the right answers. So then again, click on the texture and set the compression to none. So the next step again, assets, animation sequence, then this will be the left answers. So I rename them correctly so I don't get confused later. Then I go to texture, choose file and here I will import all my left answers. Open. So again, compression is set to none. <clears throat> so there are one animation sequence left and this is the score animation sequence because we can't use here a 2D text. So we have to import um, yeah, the numbers as a PNG file. So again, go to assets, click on the plus, animation sequence, go to texture, choose file. And here we select here, our score. So from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 to 10. When you have more or less, you can also import more or less numbers. So then hit open again. I will rename this to score and then set the compression of the yeah, <clears throat> texture to none. So then we have to import just single textures. So again, we go to the plus, go to import from computer. And here we select our right PNG. This will be the indicator if the answer is right or wrong. Then the wrong indicator, the start frame and also the scoreboard. Just select all of them and then click on open. Then they will be imported as single textures. <clears throat> and when you have yeah, selected them, go to the right hand side and set the compression to none. So now we have imported all our assets. We need to yeah, build this filter and now we can start the programming of our quiz filter. We have already imported our um, AR plug and also drag and dropped it to our scene. And when we click here in the scene at our AR uh, at the block and go to the right hand side here, we see we have a lot of inputs here. We can change and we can use to um, yeah manipulate. So here you see all the textures are empty, and now we will insert our first yeah our first texture. So we go to the start card because this is the white thing we see at the moment, and then we. Just click here at the arrow and select our start PNG. And now we can already see our start or welcoming card, which says awesome quiz. So we also will do this with the scoreboard. We will select the scoreboard here and also for the right texture, right? And also for the wrong texture for our indicators. If our answer we have given is um, yeah, right or wrong. So nice, yeah, let's move on with the questions, left answers and right answers. So yeah, just select here the questions for the left answers, the left answers and for the right answers, the right answers. And here also for the score text, um, yeah, select the score texture. So now we can already test our filter but yeah when we click here on start after one and yeah 1.5 seconds this happens and so we have to program um, yeah more logic in here 
But yeah, let's do this. It's not that um, hard. So yeah, let's set start to zero again and restart the filter. So now we need to drag and drop our quiz filter block from our scene into our patch editor. And now we see here that we have some outputs here at this um, yeah, patch. So it says question count and also score. So this means we need to extract here from our animation sequence the current frame. There is a yeah, arrow next to it and when we click on it we get this yellow patch in our patch editor. So we do this with the questions, with the right answers and the left answers. So just extract the current frame to the patch editor and of course we also do this with our score animation sequence. So after we have done this, we have those four yellow patches in our patch editor. And now we have just connect the question count output to the first three of them. So to the questions, to the right answers and to the left answers. And of course, the score goes to the score. So now when we again restart the filter, go to our quiz filter block and here at the start input I may check the checkbox after one and a half seconds the game starts at the quiz filter and the first question here is what is the highest mountain on earth but yeah I can't really read here the answers because they are too close to each other but I know this is the right and you see there was a the green check mark that indicates that my answer was right. Um, so how many people live on earth in 2023? Yeah, 8 billion is the right answer, but 6 billion the wrong. And you see here, it is the red indicator that says to me, oh, you are wrong. So yeah, this was how to build the filter. So everything works correctly, but we have to do some settings now, because as you see here, the distance between the answers is too close so we have to yeah, change this so when we scroll down here when our quiz block is selected we can find a lot of settings we can do so um, <clears throat> the game scale scoreboard and make it bigger scoreboard and question scale or position I think is this is the position I mean yeah <laughs> just hover over it and you see the whole text and here you can also see the answer distance. So this is set to 0 0.01. So I will set it to 0 0.02. And then you can see those two are yeah, drifting apart. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's say 0 0.04. It's too big. So let's yeah, 0 0.03 is pretty nice, I think. And here you can also set the game scale, for example. This is the global scale of the whole game. So when you set this to 0 0.8, it's a little bit bigger. So yeah, just play around here with the with those numbers and you can create the yeah, filter you want. So there is also one important thing we have to keep in mind. And this is this um, those settings here. We have here from 0, 01 to 10, the left, right and the left, right. Um, checkboxes. This means when the left answer is right, we have to set um, this checkbox. So for the first question, as you can see here, what is the highest mountain on earth? <clears throat> the left is the right answer. So Mount Everest is the right answer. So let's see. Do you see there's the green check mark and Mount Everest is right. So now I will uncheck this checkbox here that the left of the first question question is the right answer. So when we do this and restart the filter, so now Mount Everest is the wrong answer and K2 should be the right answer. Yes, so when it's not checked, the right is the right um, answer and when it's checked, the left is the right answer. So this is very important. So when you do your own questions, make sure this is um, set right. As you can see, those are for 10 questions. So 10 questions are the maximum amount of questions. And you can set here 
the question amount. So for example, when you just have five questions, you set this to five and the game, um, yeah, ends after five questions. But yeah, I leave it to 10 and now I will just go through all the questions. <clears throat> so I can show you the end. So yeah, just do this. So you come to the end and here your score is five. For, um, for example, 10 would be the best score, of course, and zero, um, yeah, the least amount of points you can get. So yeah, this was the settings. And now I will show you how you can start your filter because at the moment we have to do here this checkbox to start the filter. But of course the user should be able to start it on at their own pace when they want and you can choose the interaction for this of course so they can tap on the screen or as i do it um, most of the time with the um, recording start of the filters so we make sure that um, the filter the game is the quiz is recorded every time the user plays it and they can post it to their story afterwards and also this is really nice so when they don't like the recording when they um, tap on the cross the filter gets resetted and they can do it again but i will show it here first with the tap on the screen and then with the um, yeah recording start so the first thing we have to do is to um, yeah extract this property to our patch editor so select the block in your scene go to the right hand side and here click at the little arrow next to start so now we will find this yellow patch which says quiz filter start here in our patch editor. As I said, I will do the tapping first. So we go to here at our patch editor to add patch. And here I will search for screen tap. Then I will just select, <clears throat> select the screen tap patch and I will create a new patch, a switch patch. So then the gesture state output of our screen tap patch goes into the turn on input of our switch patch and the output of this switch patch goes to the quiz filter input. So after we have done this, we can test our filter again. So set here the viewport to simulate touch. And when you tap here on the screen, after 1.5 seconds, the filter starts and we can play it again. And yeah, if you want to do this with the recording start, which I prefer when creating filters, um, yeah, you can you go to your scene and then you drag and drop your camera object to your patch editor. Then you will get this patch with a lot of outputs and here you can see the video recording output. So and then just connect the video recording output to the start input of the yellow quiz filter patch here we have a problem because we can't test this feature here in the spark ar studio so you have to um yeah um test this on the device so just send it to your instagram and test it there or with the mobile meter spark player you can also test this feature so then we need of course also a prompt which says to the user tap on the screen or hit the record button. To do this we go to our scene, click on device and here at instructions click on the conditional create. Then we have to search for the patch because this is created anywhere at the patch editor. Here is it. And then here we have to create a new instruction. So go again to instructions and click on the little plus and here search for the instruction you want to use. I will here choose tap to play and insert this. So I want to show this conditional instruction when the user hasn't tapped on the screen yet. So I will set the conditional instruction to tap to play. Then I will need a not patch to negate this signal of the switch. So as long as the switch isn't triggered by the screen tap patch, this should show up. So yeah, the cache, the switch output goes to the not signal input and here the output goes to the show input. And then again, select, connect your switch to the quiz filter patch. And here, as you can see here, this says tap 
to play. Yeah, when we restart this and tap on the screen, when we tap, this should disappear and the filter should start. So yeah, disappearing, filter starts. So yeah, this was all the magic about the quiz filter with a score and also with the validation of the answers. So if it is right or wrong. And you can also customize this filter pretty much with those inputs here. So yeah, just um, yeah, the game scale, the dimensions of the scoreboard, position, the answer distance, the validation scale when I set this higher, for example. Um, yeah, this is much bigger the validation, but yeah, I would leave it to 0 0.14, 0 0.12. And also here the position, you can, um, yeah, for example, change the position of the scoreboard and the questions, validation, Y position start, Y position start scale. Game Y position is the whole position of the game. So when you set it to 0 0.1, it is a little bit higher. Yeah. So yeah, just play around with those numbers and you will find it out which one does which. So yeah, I hope this tutorial was very helpful for you and also this AR blocks makes it very simple to create a quiz filter like this. Of course, you can also manipulate the whole block. So when you want to change some uh, minor things, you can just open this block here and do some changes at the logic of the block itself. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, it would be nice if you subscribe to it so you don't miss any new tutorial here. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.